So, Among Us really exploded recently, hasn't it? And even though on a technical level, it's not a super amazing game, people have been doing some pretty cool things to it, with one of the most popular things being the proximity chat mod, which right now is kind of treated like this mystical thing that only a few people have been able to pull off. Because, well, the game isn't really intended, at least right now, to have these super easy to use mods. So it's kind of complex to set up. So I decided to put together this little tutorial, go through it step by step to show you how to set up the proximity chat feature in Among Us. It's super fun. I already tried it with a whole group of people and it's been a barrel of laughs. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is download the two files that I'm showing on screen right now and the links to both are going to be down in the video description below. So first off, get those two and get them ready. Then go into your Among Us folder, which if you don't know how to do it, go to Steam, right click Among Us, click on Properties, go on Local Files, and then go to Browse Local Files. Once you're there, deposit that zip folder that I had you download in there, extract it, and you're going to see that a brand new folder appears with a DLL file inside. Drag that DLL file into the Among Us folder, so make sure that that file is not in any other folder. It's in the exact same directory, it's in the exact same folder, as the Among Us executable and all the other game files. Then you can delete the zip and the empty folder once you have that file securely in there. Now that was just installing the mod, the easy part. Now let's talk about getting Mumble to work, which is the voice chat service that this mod uses. If you don't know Mumble, it's kind of more like TeamSpeak rather than Discord, meaning that you have to manually worry about stuff like setting up servers and stuff like that. So click on the Mumble installer, so the MSI file that had you download, and begin the installation process. When you get to this menu, you can select whether you want to install just the client or the server software as well. Everyone is going to need the client software but one person in your Among Us group is also going to have to be the one responsible for the server. So I mean, one person needs to go in and select that they also want to install the Murmur server software. Once you have Mumble installed, go through it and set up your audio device as normal. Go into the plugins and make sure that the link to game and transmit position is enabled. And also make sure that all the listed plugins that are there are also enabled. Then in the audio output menu, Go and make sure that positional audio in the top is selected and make sure that you have correct audio output device selected as well. Then under positional audio, check if you're using headphones or not, set the minimal distance to 1 meter, keep the bloom at 150%, have the maximum distance be anywhere between 4 to 6 meters depending on what you and your group want and have the minimum volume at 0%. So now you have a mumble set up. Now you need to set up your mumble server using what they're calling the Murmur software. The person responsible for hosting the server then needs to port forward, which is done differently depending on who your internet service provider is. So simply look up how exactly you could do it for your internet service provider. It usually involves going into your router's admin settings and looking in there until you find a port forward option. Make sure to port forward to your IP, which you can find out by going into the command prompt, which you can do by first pressing WinR, and then typing in CMD, then pressing OK. And then you can type in IP config, and then under IPv4, that is going to be your PC's local IP address. Once you have IP address on your ISP's site, make sure to port forward to it to the port 64738. Once you've done that, go in and click on the murmur shortcut you should have on your desktop. Then using a website like What's My IP, which I'll also link down in the description below, look up what your external IP is. That IP you then want to give to the people you want to use this mod with. Then you want to click on the little globe and mumble and go add new. Add in your IP address, leave the port as is, add in a username and hit join. Then they should join your mumble server and then once you get into a game of Among Us, the proximity chat should work. So if this video is helpful, remember to leave a like on this video, and hey, if you're still here, maybe also check out my Patreon, because even one dollar milk is a long way, and allows you to make way better videos, and also videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to find my Patreons Gavin Burns and LKB, thank you ever so, so much. Then there's also our Amazon Associates links, because if you buy anything via them, we get some the money, you need to pay anything extra, so it's a win-win. 
Then there's also a Discord if you want to talk to me or also a Discord or whatever else really. If you're unstuck or anything, if you're unsure of anything, just ask us down there. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, then subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in whatever like next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.